Any good parent will tell you that it's important to guard what your children watch, what they listen to, what they consume. And so it's vitally important to make sure that what they have entered into them is something godly and wholesome. Moses says in Deuteronomy eleven nineteen says, you shall teach them your sons talking of them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you rise up. It's important to teach them. And part of that teaching has to do with what they listen to, what they watch, what they consume when you're not around. A lot of kids today watch a lot of different things that just are not godly. Things that have to do with aberrant or demonic sexual behavior and attitudes, fighting and things like that. And so it's good when you come across somebody or come across some children who consume something that's godly. Now, these two children, they're not mine, but to see how their parents are training them, starting them off young, early, making sure that they, as they start their day off, that they are eating breakfast at their little table and if they're watching, consuming something that is godly, something that's going to grow them. This is really awesome. Why don't you with all your friends are against? Go to seminary. Go to Bible college. Don't go to Marcus Bible College. Go to an authentic seminary where they're going to challenge you to prove your point. All these, and there are many more, there are many more examples that we can cover that causes people. How awesome is that? I mean, I almost had a tear come to my eyes. It's just amazing how these parents are doing the right thing giving them good content at a young age. Do you know how smart these two boys are going to be when they get older? I'm even thinking about starting a college fund for these two kids, but they won't need it. You know why? They're going to get straight A's. They're going to get a, a college scholarship. Somebody's going to want them to come to their college for free. I'm going to pay you two boys to come to my college. You know why? Because they've been started off the right way. Okay, obviously I'm exaggerating. Not really, though. That is pretty cool to see that they're watching that. But Jesus puts it this way. He says that the eye is the lamp of the body. So then if the eye is clear, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light that is in you is darkness, how great is darkness? We ought to make sure that our children, that our loved ones, the ones that are around, the ones whose minds are still being shaped, the ones they're still developing, that they're developing and growing off of something good and wholesome. They don't have to necessarily be a smart Christian channel, although it's not a bad start. But anything, obviously give them the Bible. Give them the word. Give them your time and attention, most importantly. Give them what thus saith the Lord. And when they want to watch something, have them watch something that is wholesome, something that is teaching about the Lord. Nothing wrong with cartoons. Nothing wrong with those at all. But also, if you've got a good, balanced diet, like they, like a nutritionist would say, a good, balanced television and radio and spiritual diet is the most important thing. But just to watch those kids, watch the smart Christian show, or as my grandson would say, the live pop-pop show, touch my heart. Why don't you with all your friends are against? Go to seminary. Go to Bible Don't go to Marcus Bible College. Go to an authentic seminary where they're going to challenge you to prove your point. All these, and there are many more, there are many more examples that we can cover that causes people. Hey man, 